this is Mike Tranchina with EHR TV, and I'm here with Amy King, Vice President of Health Information Technology Programs at Northrum Grumman. Hi, Amy. Hi, how are you? Tell me, tell me about Northrum Grumman's work surrounding the health IT industry. Well, we have a very broad footprint in health IT, uh, from public health to uh, benefits management to health information exchange, both in the federal and the state and local uh, sectors. Mm -hmm. What are you showcasing today at HIMSS or this week at HIMSS? We have several things. We have a eligibility, rules-based eligibility system that we have. We have some bioinformatics work that we're doing with the National Institutes of Health. Uh, we have some uh, public health work that we're doing for the Centers for Disease Control around hen health and uh, geographic information systems, and, and a couple other things. It's really exciting um, technology that we're using. Can you give me uh, an example of how your technology is impacting uh, physicians that are in public health? Um, give me maybe an example or a story of, of how this technology is, again, helping. Um, uh, one of the things our mobile handheld devices is out there to collect some of the data around such as H1N1, the virus. We were involved with the actual uh, research of where that started and, and the impact of it, how it happened with mm -hmm. regards to the population. So some of our technology was easily able to collect the data that we, was quickly analyzed so that uh, things could be put in place. So these are portable handheld mm -hmm. devices that allow field reps, if you will, to put that data in and remotely communicate that data to a central database. Correct. And, and Correct. then allow decision makers in the public health uh, sector to analyze it real time. Yes, yes. And so it was then placed in the models to then, for the outcomes to what prevention that we needed to have happen. Mm -hmm. When you hear of Northrop Grumman, you think of military defense, mm -hmm. uh, huge contractor for the military yes. complex. Um, you don't hear it, uh, uh, your company a lot in the healthcare IT industry. Is it mainly because you're so focused on the government side of the uh, the business, or or do you have a commercial side as well? We have a commercial side. Uh, our focus is more in the federal and state and local arena. Uh, we've been in the health IT business actually for over 20 years. If you wow. really date back to some of the companies that Northrop acquired, uh, it's been a very steady growth area. We don't build the large aircraft carriers or ships or planes, but it's a it's a very robust business that we have, and we are looking forward to offering um, new solutions to our customers. Mm -hmm. Now, I noticed that you have a lot of images in the booth. Do you do things with lar transferring large images over networks or, or any kind of um, technology that allows large amount of volume of data to be transferred back and forth? Yes, we're, we've worked on the bi-directional health information exchange between the Department of Defense and the Department of Veterans Affairs. So, And that was dealing with some of the images, x-rays, and some of the information that needed to get from the Alta system into the Vista system and vice versa. Briefly describe for me Northrop Grumman's interoperability framework for the Departments of Defense and the Veterans Affairs. Sure, we were one of the original NHIN contractors as part of the f first phase of NHIN, mm -hmm. and we are still working with um, NHIN Connect and some of the other things that are occurring with the new and updated standards. But we basically uh, built off of the bi-directional health information exchange and have an HIE platform that we're using uh, in some local, state and local arenas and then connecting to the, the federal government to really show the capability of interoperability. So will your technology be used exclusively for the government or will uh, doctors in the field be somehow exchanging data in the future in that through that network? Potentially, uh, this all uh, connects with the NHIN, so mm -hmm. that's the the government's uh, standards, and so we will be connecting with that using the updated technologies and the updated frameworks. Uh, so doctors and the information will be uh, shared across, whether it's um, Department of Defense to VA to Social Security to the local hospitals, et cetera. So we're looking to uh, help in that area. So how do you see Northrop Grumman's services as critical to the advancement of HIT in the health reporting surveillance? You spoke a little bit about that with yes. the H1N1 mm -hmm. virus. 
that's obviously going to be more and more of an important aspect of keeping the health care costs down. Yes. So uh, I think we're going to have a very big uh, play. We have epidemiologists, we have uh, doctors, we have a lot of uh, technology and tools that we're supporting the CDC. We have over a thousand people in support of the Centers for Disease wow. Control. So we're looking at also leveraging that into other adjacencies such as Africa and helping with laboratory information systems around HIV AIDS and public health reporting and and, and that area. So we're really looking at how technology can help impact the access of data to help put in place some preventive measures. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us today? Um, I would say that we are fully committed to our customers and to helping the uh, nation move forward with their uh, health IT agenda. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amy. Thank I really appreciate much. it. Have a great day. Appreciate it. Thank you. This is Mike Tranchina with EHR TV.